We can write out mathematical expressions using variables, where we use the name of the variable to keep track of a value that we wanted to use again. Some of the variables that you can use actually keep track of what is happening on your computer as you are working. We've already seen how we can use the size instruction to set the size of the display window. But this does more than just set the size. It remembers the height and the width that you set so that you can then use them later in your program. Many programming languages, including processing, use special variables that keep track of what is going on in the system so that programmers can make their programs work well wherever they end up running. These system variables keep track of what your system is up to, and we can then refer to these by name without having to guess at what the settings are or use fixed settings that might not work for everyone. Here's a simple example of trying to put a shape in the middle of the screen. It's very simple, and it works. However, here we have hard-coded this program so that it will only work properly for a screen that has been set to a width of 200 and a height of 200. If we move to a different sized screen, or the user wanted a different size display window for any other reason, this wouldn't work. Let's look at a display size of 300 by 300. What we can do is take advantage of the fact that the size function sets two system variables for us. Whenever we type size a, b, the processing environment will automatically set two system variables for us, width and height. If we use size 100, 200, then width will be set to 100 and height to 200. Now we can use them in our expressions like any other variable. And now we can rewrite our program to use the width and height system variables. Let's look at the original code again. What we want to do is to draw a rectangle 20 pixels wide and 40 pixels high around the center of the screen. We've put a number in to do this for the width by dividing the real width, 200, by 2, and then taking a little bit off to fit in the rectangle. We can now write this as an expression using width and height. Let's change that last line. And now this works for whatever we change the size to. But what happens if we don't use size to set the width and the height? Well, we know we still get a display up on the screen, because the system will use 100 for both width and height when we don't tell it to do anything else. And in this case, both the width and height system variables will be set to 100. System variables make it easier for programmers to work out where their programs are running and how they look to people. This allows us to make our code look that little bit smarter, and it allows us to run the same piece of code in more places without having to rewrite it. What happens if you try to change the value of width and height while your program is running? What do you think will happen? How will things look? What we have done here is to use our knowledge of the programming environment to make our programs more flexible and to reduce dependency on fixed values in the code. Understanding how to use all of the variables defined by both you and the environment you're using will help to write better code. In the quiz questions in this section, you'll get a chance to think more about how you can use this.